money was one of a kind. I mean, that voice, the energy, everything about him, just, he's a ball coach, and he was going to hold me to a standard that might have been a little higher than my own. <laughs> I think, first of all, when you think of Monty, you think of his enthusiasm that he brings to the game every single day, uh, even at his young age. Let's go now. Let's be, let's be humming. Let's be humming. Let's be humming now. Nice job. Nice job, D. That's why you play run defense right there. He brought it every day, and it was about teaching, uh, making sure uh, from a defensive standpoint, we understood the why uh, behind everything that we did. When I think of Ring of Honor, the best you know, uh, rep representation of your franchise, they gotta be legendary people. And um, a lot of legends uh, from, our, from our Tampa 2 defense are up there. It goes without saying that the architect of that, or at least the guy that was calling the plays every single Sunday, deserves to be up there. And you can't talk about our defense without starting with talking Monty Kiffin. His personality was just so outgoing and uh, he, he just fired the players up. And I, I got something from him that way because I, I'm not an emotional type of guy. I was more the intellectual coach, but he coached energy and he coached effort and enthusiasm and it, it, it worked for us. Monty had this energy, it was just off the charts. And uh, he was electric, he would, you know, there was no way you could even lose interest in a meeting or a, a discussion with Monty. He had so much energy and enthusiasm for the game of football. It was just contagious and exciting. That defense that Monty coordinated was the best unit that had ever played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And uh, Monty was the coordinator of it. He became part of the fabric of the Tampa community. He was so beloved. You know, Monty was a special coach. Uh, he was a special friend, and uh, he richly deserves to be in the uh, Buccaneer Ring of Honor. Yeah, you can say Brooks and Lynch and Sapp and myself and uh, Brian Kelly and Simeon Rice, all these, all the, the names are there, but um, none of that was really possible without, without, you know, Monty. He was a ball coach, and he put his heart, soul, and everything into this thing, and I'm glad we can call him a champion now, a Ring of Honor member.